Since we know strawberry poison dart frogs are normally distributed, let's start by stamping a normal distribution. So the mean is 20, that's the middle of our distribution. And since the standard deviation is 0.7, I know right here is 20.7, and right here is 21.4. On this side, if I subtract 0.7 and go one standard deviation below the mean, I'm at 19.3, and one more standard deviation, I'm at 18.6. So a frog of 21 millimeters would be about right here. So this axis right now is in millimeters. Let's do an axis for z-score. So a z-score of zero corresponds to exactly the mean. This would be a z-score of one, one standard deviation from the mean, and a z-score of two, two standard deviations above the mean. And over here we'd have negative one and negative two. So just by looking at this, we know our z-score for 21 millimeters is going to be between 1 and 2. Let's calculate it. So to calculate a z-score, we take x, our value of interest, subtract the mean, and divide that by the standard deviation. So in this case, 21 minus 20 divided by 0.7 is approximately equal to 1.43. So to interpret that, we'll say a 21 millimeter strawberry poison dart frog has a length that is about 1.43 standard deviations above the mean. We know it's above the mean, first from our drawing here, but also because it's a positive z-score. To demonstrate what the 75th percentile represents, let's stamp another normal distribution. Now the mean is still 20 right here in the middle, and this is 20.7, so 20.47 would be about here. And if this is the 75th percentile, it means the area to the left is 0.75. The area under the entire normal curve is 1. So 75% of the lengths are below this cutoff value. So to interpret it, we'll say 75% of strawberry poison dart frogs are less than 20.47 millimeters. For part C, we're also going to stamp a normal distribution. And let's start by labeling the axis with z-scores. So right in the middle at the mean, we'd have a z-score of 0. One standard deviation above would be a 1. Two standard deviations. Three standard deviations. And to the left of the mean, we have our negative z-scores. So from the stem of the problem, we know 33.5 is a z-score of negative 1. So below the negative 1, I'm going to put 33.5. And 38 is a z-score of 2. Now from this 33.5 to this 38, we have 1, 2, a total of 3 standard deviations. So we know 3 standard deviations equals the difference between 38 and 33.5. And we can use algebra to figure out the standard deviation is 1.5. Now the mean is right in the middle and corresponds with a z-score of 0. So right here at 33.5, if we just go one more standard deviation, we're going to be at the mean. So if we add 1.5 to our 33.5, we get our mean, 35 millimeters. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.